Hello everyone, it's Davide here and welcome back to Learning Finance. In today's video guys, I want to bring you four ETFs, which I think they are going to be very interesting in the next couple of years, okay? Especially if the market is going to go down a little bit in the short term, it could be a nice time to invest in those things. So if you are interested, I just ask you one thing, just leave me a like that you help me with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel and let's begin the 5g revolution is controversial we know that uh some folks they don't like it because of health uh, they say that it's not good for the health but other folks they love it because they say it's gonna be the fastest way of using internet and so this is a financial channel channel that talks about finance and my job is to try to find a way to make money with those things i'm not a doctor i respect everyone's opinion but let's see what we have here so to understand which area is gonna benefit directly from 5g we have to take a look at mainly four areas okay so the first one uh, that we have here is semiconductors and networks and after that we have IOT, Internet of Things, which is going to be pretty huge during the next four to five years. Uh, because you know what, with a faster internet connection, you can connect more devices. And of course with technology is going to continue to develop. We are going to have, uh, we are going to be a lot more connected, not just with mobile phones, but with a lot of other devices that we have in, in our houses. And so guess what? Those devices, they are going to be uh, produced and we are going to buy them and we are going to use them. And you know what? They are going to make a lot of money from those things. Okay. The market of IoT, uh, there are some analysts that they say is going to grow very, very, very fast and is going to be five times bigger in the next five years. Okay, so that, that's interesting. And another part is infrastructure. So to build a 5G revolution, you need buildings, you need to build connection towers, you need to basically you need to create the infrastructure and there are businesses in this particular area that they are going to benefit a lot from them so and the last one is research and development of 5g's so those companies that basically they are um, putting money and effort to trying to find new ways to use this new technology okay so let's take a look at what we have here. The first ETF that I found, uh, which I think is very interesting, is Pacer Benchmark Data and Infrastructure Real Estate ETF, ticker symbol SRVR. This ETF is mainly based on the infrastructure area and basically, those guys, in, in these ETFs, there is a basket of stocks that are main related with the constructions of um, connection towers and building area. Okay, so the, those new buildings to create the infrastructure itself, you find those stocks in these ETFs. And I think it's interesting, okay, because they're gonna uh, benefit from that. And that's why I included these ETFs here. Probably you like it. The next ETF that we have is the Global X Internet of Things ETFs, ticker symbol S and S Air. This one I think is the most probably interesting for a, a future uh, development or a future growth of this sector, okay? So this one is everything related with the Internet of Things. There are businesses inside this basket of stocks here 
that they are going to benefit from the development of this new way of connectivity. So basically here you can find uh, businesses like Intel. Th these are just the top 10 holdings. You can download the full holdings document here if you go to the site. And there are uh, like Dexcom, uh, Skyworks Solution, Garmin, Advanced Co. Ltd., um, Intel Corporation, AMS, Silicon Laboratories. So all those kind of uh, businesses that they are going to benefit a lot from this new Internet of Things that everyone is talking about. And by investing in these ETFs, you don't put all the risk inside a couple of them, but you are actually buying all of them. Okay. And that's why I think probably some of you, you like most this kind of ETFs idea. Okay, that's why I'm bringing it to you. The next ETF that we have is Defiance 5G Next Gen Connectivity ETF, ticker symbol FIVG. This ETF is mainly related to the semiconductor and networks area. Okay, so uh, in these ATFs here, you are going to find those are the main holdings and you are going to find something like Qualcomm, Ericsson, Xilinx, uh, American Tower, Marvel Technology, Verizon Communication, Nokia. And I downloaded the full list here and we can see that there are also uh, some important stuff a like Vodafone group and should be like also Cisco yeah here we have Cisco system in and look at what we have here as well Apple okay and Siena those are all very important businesses uh, in the um, semiconductor and network the uh, area of 5G. So, okay, they're gonna benefit a lot from this new thing in the next four to five years. No doubt about that. Okay. And so the last ETF I have here from you is is the first trust index next gen ETF ticker symbol NXTG. So uh, this last ETF is more related to the research and development related to 5G infrastructure, okay? So, uh, basically in this basket of stocks, you are gonna find all those businesses that they have invested money and effort to uh, this new revolution of internet connection, connection okay? So, you know what, if you invest in something, probably you're gonna profit from it, okay? That's the expectation from them. And there are a basket of stocks here as well, mainly, um, this is mainly related, here we have again uh, a lot, some of semiconductors, but not only, we have telecommunications equipment, mobile telecommunications, Speciality air AITs rates, computer services and fixed line telecommunications, computer hardware, industrial and office rates, and consumer electronics. So here again, th this ETS could be um, an alternative probably to the five. G, the FIVG I showed you before, they are not uh, completely similar, but you know what, they are similar. Uh, but as you can see, it's not only in the US, they are not only in US, you have also a geographic diversification in these ETFs and in that one as well, in the FIVG. You are not only investing in the US, but you also have a global view of the 5G development, okay? Here we can see that, for example, 
the 42 percent is in us but you are also investing in japan china india taiwan south korea sweden germany finland and switzerland okay so just take a look at those etfs guys i hope this video is interesting for you i hope you like it so leave me a like and subscribe to the channel leave me a comment below with your thoughts just tell me which one you like more and which one you are probably planning to buy okay so i wish you a wonderful day guys see you soon bye